smelled an opportunist from the start. I will admit that some of the articles he posted were fairly interesting and were helpful to the cause of ethical and fair journalism, uh, forgetting, of course, the fact that they were posted on Breitbart, a rag with more political slant than Fox fucking news, and of course the fact that Milo himself couldn't write an impartial article to save his life. But it's not like the Gamergate crowd cared about that. I mean, as long as Milo kept announcing how neutral and impartial he was in the conflict, the Gamergate crowd would worship the ground he stood upon, despite how obviously biased he was in their favor. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Who is Milo Yiannopoulos? Ask any of his supporters, and I'd be surprised if they didn't use the word gay or a synonym at least once. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Milo Yiannopoulos is, and I know this has been a matter of some contention, a homosexual. Try not to be too surprised. I know he embodies every negative stereotype about homosexuals. His prissy, catty, stuck-up attitude, his narcissistic fixation with his own sexuality, and the need to inject it into every conversation, his overuse of the word fabulous, and his absolutely atrocious fashion sense, but no, he's one of the good ones. You see, he's a Christian conservative homosexual. Whoa, isn't that just so wacky and whimsical? Doesn't that just blow your little pea brain? You see, it's crazy because he's gay, but he belongs to a religion that believes that being gay is sin. What's up with that? You see, he's a paranoid xenophobe who sees mad Muslims around every corner waiting to throw him from a rooftop, but he just loves Middle Eastern dick. What's up with that? If I didn't know any better, I'd call him a hypocrite, but he talks with such a posh English accent, he must have some intelligent justification, right? And this doesn't even touch on some of his particularly ass-backwards views, such as his strange brand of homosexual supremacism. According to Milo, Homosexuality should not be condoned by society, simply because homosexuals are too good for society. You see, homosexuals are just smarter than everyone else. Thus, they should be socially pressured into biting the bullet and copulating with the opposite sex so as to pass down their smartness genes and conceive a whole new generation of repressed gay ubermenschen. Oh, sorry, did I uh, say repressed? Now, Milo's not repressed. Of course, far be it from him to follow his own beliefs. No, he's far too busy prattling on about his wacky, whimsical sexual exploits with black men to actually practice what he preaches and settle down in an unhappy marriage with a nice white woman. And I could talk about his official endorsement for U.S. President of a man with the intelligence and appearance of a baked potato who has declared that if elected he will crack down on journalists who publish unflattering or, <laughs> excuse me, unfair stories about him. Do you like Vladimir Putin's comments about you? Sure. When people call you brilliant, it's always good, especially when the person heads up Russia. Yeah. Well, I mean, it also is a person that kills journalists, political I mean, right. political opponents, yeah. and uh, invades countries. And invades countries. Obviously, uh, that uh, it would be a concern, would it not? He's running his country, and at least he's a leader. You know, unlike what we have in this country. No, but again, he kills journalists that don't agree with him. Well, I think uh, our country does plenty of killing also, Joe, so, you know. But under God Emperor Trump's administration, I don't think Milo has anything to worry about. Hell, maybe he'll even be appointed White House Press Secretary for being the most ethical and the most fair. And then there's his speaking career, in which he travels the nation.